Okay, so this is a tutorial for course uh, 7b and we will see a model of network on NetLogo where we add uh, some dynamic. So here is the model I have built for this tutorial. You may recognize uh, a setup function that will create some nodes at random position. The number of nodes is adjustable with this slider. Mm. And the purpose of this model is to implement a gravitational model to compute the intensity of interaction between dyads of nodes in the network. So the setup function will create uh, the number of nodes given by this slider. Then you may click the button link with close neighbors. That will create some links when the distance between two nodes is superior to the distance demin here, the minimal distance, and inferior to demax, the maximal distance. So, as you can see, for a, a big distance, the network is almost complete, but if you decrease demax, only the most, uh, the, more, the, the closest neighbors are linked uh, with the function. Then uh, you can control the distribution of the mass of the nodes. So you can control this distribution with the mean of the masses here, mass mean equal to 4, and lambda. Lambda is a parameter for an exponential distribution of uh, probability that will give uh, your mass distribution a shape like this. This is why when you would click on setup you've got uh, a lot of uh, small nodes and some big nodes. Okay, um, here you can recognize two parameters <coughs> for the gravitational model. Here is the decay of the distance and here is the constant of adjustment. Um, Let's try with uh, this uh, setting. This button, show flows superior to 1, are just showing in orange and by varying the thickness of the, um, the, the edges, what are the, um, the flux that are superior to 1 uh, when you apply a gravitational model to this network. Then you can click on the button interaction step to exchange some mass units between the nodes that are connected with an orange link. So when the flow is superior to one between two nodes, interaction step will exchange mass units between the nodes of the network. The quantity of um, mass exchange when you click on interaction step is defined by this slider. So you can loop this um, this mechanism with this button, which uh, is, will just call uh, this function, but uh, forever. And um, you can see how the masses and the, the flows of interaction will evolve in the network. Um, I also have had um, some dynamic on the structure of the graph. With this button, you can kill one node randomly, and with uh, that button, you can add one node to the network. So, uh, for example, I will just show you at a low speed what happens uh, clearly. So, setup will create the number of nodes. Okay. Speed up a little bit the thing. Okay, so you can observe this distribution of mass. Uh, you can see here that the sum of the masses of the totals is um, 508. You can connect the nodes. Let's see what are the flows. And now we will uh, play a little bit with the decay function. So uh, if we decrease the decay, 
there is far more uh, flows superior to one because the distance is less uh, an obstacle for interaction between the nodes. And if you increase the decay, there is only there is few nodes that stay uh, for this value. Um, okay, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, if you add some node randomly, it will uh, modify the structure of the network and also modify the intensity of the flux of the flows between the nodes. Um, also, the model is a little bit slow. Uh, maybe I will adjust the speed. So, if you add one node, for example. Can see that the structure is uh, modified and sometimes the flows also are modified. Then you click on interaction step and you can observe how the distribution of masses evolve and um, what are the consequences of uh, node deletion or addition. Okay, that's pretty much it for this model. Uh, in the second video, we will see how the code uh, produces uh, this dynamic. Thank you, and see you in the next uh, video.